I was a camper for about three or four years. I learned about it through my school, third grade. Coming here, making new friends, that was a big moment for me. I can forget about everything else and just have fun here. It got me out of the house during the summertime and kept me busy. I had so much fun at camp growing up. You know, there's kayaking, there's canoeing, you have high ropes quarters and it was just so much fun for me. And I, I wanted to make a difference to, to the kids because my counselors made a difference for me and I just always wanted to do it. It's definitely an experience. You, you meet like different backgrounds of kids. Their attitudes, their behavior is totally different and you have to learn, be able to work with all of them. It does feel good to know that you're helping these kids out and, you know, give them a nice place to be. With, you, they know you care for them. Yeah. They just need a little bit of love and attention. Once you give them that, they're happy. Some of these kids come from really bad backgrounds and they come here for a whole week and they can forget about everything else. And so many of these kids say to me, Ken, I'm glad I came. You don't have no idea what it's like at home. And they make a tremendous difference in their lives. You know, for one week, they can do anything they want, kayaking, canoeing, and they can forget about everything. And I think that's a big difference for them. They get to, to one chance in a lifetime for them. This week, we have a kid that's here, and his mother just passed away. And he has anger problems, but we do have we talk to him and he definitely now respects us and he's been better with his temper problems. Um, he just needed somebody to talk to him about it. I've had moments when the kids actually cry and they're like, Kiana, I just want to talk. And it's not about anything important, just sitting there talking about their day. And, and that just in those little moments, you're making a difference. So it's not always like the big things, that they talk about, it's the little things that give them a little bit of release. When these kids get off the bus, some of them are quiet, some of them just loud, and you just, you look at these kids, I'm thinking, oh my God, I hope that's not my, cam my camper. And then you get them, and you're like, oh wow, that's, she's not what I expected. And it's like, you expect this bad kid, but they come in here all sweet and nice and respectful to you. And it's like, oh, you can't ju judge a book by its cover, because you never know what you're gonna get. Yeah, they come in on the buses quiet, and then when they leave, they're hanging out the windows. Yeah, yelling, yelling. saying, I love you, I miss you, call me, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's great. Um, I was a camper for four years. Um, it was really important because it helped me to be more outgoing with myself. You know, I was a bit shy as a child, but coming here and just meeting everybody from different places and knowing where they come from, it was, it was the best thing. It's just the best place to be, you know? I mean, you have new friends, and you have these activities that you've never done before, like kayaking or like the high ropes. Some of them come here, and some are just so depressed or something, you know, just from where they come from. And by the end of the week, they'll be crying, not because, you know, they want to go home. They'll be crying because they want to stay here. And they're like, I'm coming back next year. Are you coming back too? Like, I want to see you again. That just makes me feel great to know that, like, hey, I made a difference on you and you want to come back and see me. It's, it was a great, it's just a great feeling. I was a camper four different times. Coming here means I get away from home. When I was a little kid, we didn't, I didn't have any video games, so I was outside all the time anyway. But when I came here, a bunch of the things that I did here, I couldn't do at home. Setting the table, I never, I had never done it at home. I came here for the first time and I always wanted to do it when I got home. I guess I became a better person. I became what my dad liked to say, I will become more of a man when I come here. Because you're a little bit more independent. You're expected to kind of, every once in a while, go out and do your own thing. A lot of the kids will come here on Sunday and all you hear from them is, I don't want to be here. My mom forced me to come, in he come here. I don't like it. I don't want to be here. I want to go home, call my mom, blah, 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 blah. And we get to Thursday night, Friday morning, and that same kid who didn't want to be here Sunday afternoon, he's hugging you right before he gets on the bus, and he goes, I hope you're working here next year because this is the most fun I've had all summer, you know? And that, that really gets to me because I, di I didn't know I could make that much of an impact on one person. It's one of the few times that I actually want to cry. I had a kid. Um, he didn't. He didn't want to be here. His parents. His parents basically shipped him out here and left. And he was bad at first. We tried to call him, and we realized that they were gone. 
and they weren't coming down here. So we kind of said, if you relax, you chill out, quit hitting other kids, have some fun, you'll be okay. And this kid was home. He he got into a lot of he got into a couple fights. He was homesick at the same time. So you could see you could see that was the psychological issue with him. He didn't want to be here. He missed his mom and his dad, so he wanted to go home. And he was doing everything he could to go home. And we got to Thursday. We got the special day. And we were like, okay, you finally acting better. We'll let you do this. Just walk around, have some fun. You know, people are kind of mad at you. You've been a little bad. Just relax, and he probably had the most fun I've had. Have ha I've had any kids have all summer. And when it came to Friday morning, I gave him his award. And before he got on his bus, he was like, "I hope I wish I could come back next week. I really, I really liked it here." Coming here, I got to be like with a different group of people, and it was nice. It did a lot of things I'd never done before, like horses. That was always exciting. I could never pass the swimming test the first two years, but then that last couple of years, I did it. I was very proud of that. It's nice like, to know that they have someone to look up to, and that you're that person. I kind of feel like I'm a better person when I'm around them. I like making them say please and thank you. <laughs> they like saying please and thank you. And walking, just doing things as a group, teamwork. They're starting to help each other out now. Like on trails, if one's falling behind, the other one will like hold their hand or help them keep up. That's really cute. Just be nice and have fun. And then it's okay if you like don't do well at something because you're probably good at something else. Last week we had a six-year-old. <laughs> the whole week like she was like a little behind because she was younger and slower and not used to it. She kind of wanted to go home. And like she like if she didn't think she could do something, at first she wouldn't even try it and she would just like make fun of it. But by the end of the week, she was like trying everything and really excited. She kind of, she even cried she didn't want to go home by the end. That was nice. She wanted to stay at camp forever. It's just a lot of fun. Like it's something new. It's not like the city. Like I don't see any horses running around the city. No kayaking or canoeing. It's outdoors. It's nature. I like being outside. Sleep, slept outside. I like sleeping under the stars. It's pretty cool. I started to come into camp when I was nine. I was a camper here until I was 15. Um, I started coming here to help me kind of get through the summers in a positive way. Where I'm from, there's a lot of negative things to get into. Um, so my grandmother thought it'd be a good idea for me to come here, and I ended up loving it. I wanted to come back every year. I couldn't wait to get back to Happy Hollow. I wanted to come back to be a counselor um, because Indianapolis and the surrounding area um, has issues with the youth falling into this vicious cycle of the negative stereotypes and negative role models. So I kind of wanted to come so that maybe I could reach a, maybe even one kid, you know, just so that that seed would take them far in life and they could take some good values with them in life. I've taken a few wrong turns probably when I was young and uh, I wish that somebody would have been there to maybe instill a seed in me. Um, I feel like I came out excellent and I just want to give back to my city and the, the youth of my city. One kid in particular, we have the same background and I had the opportunity to speak with him for a while and try to get him to think positive and think about his future and about how what he does now will affect him later in life and I kind of got the wheels turning in his head and it's pretty cool. Like I won't see immediate 100% progress but it's cool to see how he's beginning to think differently and kind of put some of the things I set into place. So it's a little rewarding. Usually the kid who, who doesn't want to be here um, is always the kid who ends up having the most fun. You just gotta poke at them a little bit more, um, try to get them to come out of their box a little bit. Um, that's usually the biggest difference in the attitude from when they get here and when they leave. They, they end up having an awesome time and it's cool to see them want to come back and enjoy a camp. Happy Hollow is a good place to invest because Indianapolis and the surrounding areas need this camp and the role models here to help push our youth toward the right direction. They are the future. <laughs>